Flutter supports different kind of dialogues so you can have your dialogue with different options. And lastly, we want to look at the about dialogue where you can then see all the licenses of your application. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below what you like to learn next about Flutter. We want to get started here with a simple dialogue, so I'm here in a new class and in a new file. And here inside we have basically a button and if we then click on this button, then we want to show our simple dialogue. So let's create here a new method, show simple dialogue and we want to put here our build context inside. Inside of this new method, we want to call the show dialogue method, which is from the Flutter SDK. And it looks then like this, that we need here a build context every time. And then we can put here in the child property, our dialogue inside. So let's get started and put this context inside. And we also can put here every time in the child property, our dialogue. And in this case, we want to put here a simple dialogue inside. And a simple dialogue has a title first of all. So we can set here a text widget, for example, and it also has some children. And here we want to place our options. So you can place here any widget inside. However, you can also use here this simple dialogue option, which comes from this simple dialogue. Here inside, you can first of all set a text with some style and you can also set some padding. And now let's look at this. So we have here our first option and you cannot click on it and that's what we want to change. Therefore, you simply can add here this on pressed handler and every time if you click on this option, then we want to simply hide this pop up again and therefore we call here this navigator.pop to hide our dialogue again. Let's try it out. So I go here to this simple dialogue and I click on this button and then you should see that this disappears again. Next to it, we can also show here a notification to the user. So we want to show here at the bottom some snack bar. And here we simply make use of a utils class, which I have created. And here basically we show a snack bar and put here our title, our text inside, which should be displayed as an information. And this looks then like this. So if we click here on this option, you also see that we get here this snack bar at the bottom. Basically, we can also put here then other options inside. So let's also create a second option. And here what I only changed is the text. And also here in our show snack bar, I also changed here this text, which is displayed to the user. And we also can here add another option. So option three. And here I also changed this text. So you can basically put then any text inside what you like and also the functionality what should be executed if you press on one of these options then you can define it here inside and now our dialogue looks like this so we have three options and if we click on one then our selected option is here displayed let's also display an alert dialogue and here we can basically put any message to the user which he then confirms here again, I'm in a new file and in a new class where I have here this alert dialogue button. And every time if we press on it, then we want to show this alert dialogue. So let's put here our new method inside and we again put here the build context inside. We call again in this method the show dialogue method and put our context inside. And this time we create here an alert dialogue. And this alert dialogue basically has a title like the dialogue before also. And this time we have here a content, which is our description. And here you can also put some text inside. This looks then like this. So we have some basic information, which we show to the user. And if you like, you can also add here another button. So you have your actions and here you can place any button inside or multiple buttons. And we create here, for example, a button close. And if you press on it, then we also call this navigator.pop to actually close our current dialogue. Let's try this also out. I go here and you see also that we have here this button. And if we click on this button, then it hides this dialogue again. Let's also create a custom dialogue so you can place here any widgets inside which you like and you can customize it like you want to have your dialogue. Therefore, I'm here inside of a new class again. And if we click on this custom dialogue, then we want to implement this show custom dialogue method. So again, we call show dialogue like all the times before we put our context inside. And this time we call here a dialogue. 
So we don't have here an alert dialog or anything else. We have here a plain dialog and then you can put here a child inside and within the child you can place any widget inside which you like. So for example, we put here a column inside to display multiple widgets under each other. And therefore we, for example, start with some spacing, then we put some text inside. Again, we put some spacing and text inside and then we already have here our custom dialog. And then it looks like this. So it takes here currently the full height and that's also what we can change later. So first of all, I will also put here another button inside and this time we put here simply an elevated button inside and if we click on this button, we want then to close this dialog again. Then our dialog looks like this. So we can click here on close and then it is closing our dialog. For each dialog, if you click here on this black outer side, then it is closing this dialog. However, if you don't like to have this behavior, then you can also call here this property barrier dismissible and set it to false. And if you do this, then you can click here on the left side, on the right side, and the dialog will not close. And what you can then do is, for example, to close it only with a close button or the button which you like to place here inside. So if I click here on close, then this dialog will also close. Then within our dialog, we always have here an option which is called shape. And here you can define the shape of your dialog. So you can, for example, make it rounded. And therefore you call here this rounded rectangle border and put here a radius inside. And the higher the value is, the more rounded our dialog will be. So let's try it out. So I click here on this custom dialog and you see that our dialog is rounded. And if you put here, for example, 40 or something inside, then our dialog will be more rounded. And basically you can customize your dialog and put here images inside or whatever you like. Right now we also want to put here some padding around our content because here you see it is going here to the left side and to the right side. And therefore you simply wrap it inside of a padding. And now we have here around our column this padding. So let's close it again and open it up again. And then you see that we have here some space between our content. The next thing is that we want to center here our text inside of our column. So you can also call here main axis alignment center. And now you see that everything is here centered. If you also want to shrink your dialogue to the appropriate size, you can also call here in the column this main axis size, main axis size min. So this is really important. I think you would put it every time inside. And now if I open here this dialogue again, you see that it takes here the minimum height. By the way, if you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. Lastly, we want to look at the about dialog and the about dialog has here every time this view licenses inside, which is made by the Flutter team. And this then shows all the licenses of your application. So for example, if you later upload at some point your app to the Play Store or to the App Store, then you can simply display all the licenses to the user. Therefore, I'm here in a new class again. And this time, if you click on this button, then we want to show this about dialog. And here we simply call this show about dialog method, which comes also from the Flutter SDK. And here inside you pass again the context. And then you can set here, for example, an application icon. And this icon will be displayed here later next to our title here on the left side. Then we put here a title inside, a version number, and you can also put here, for example, a name inside. So here we put first of all the version of our app inside. Then you put here this application name of your app inside. And then you also have here this last field, which you can set. And this looks then like this. So we can click here on view licenses and then you should see that we have here all the licenses of our app displayed. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!